This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to color grade your footages in After Effects without any third party plugins. This tutorial awesome people is meant for beginners who just want to color grade your footages for YouTube or for Facebook or any of those kind of things and you're not into uh, you know becoming a full on video editor. So if you have no interest in understanding scopes or waveforms then this tutorial is going to be perfect for you. So with that being said awesome people, let's get started. Now this is an example and uh, just in case if you couldn't tell, this by the way is the after so we'll be creating this. Um, yeah. And uh, again, this is one side and I'm going to show you two ways of getting this done just in case if your uh, if you know your footage is a little bit different and technique one doesn't work on you. So here is technique two. So with that being said awesome people, let's get started. Alright, so my composition has been set awesome people. I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to rename this to CC. Next awesome people, I'm going to go to FX and presets and again, this is not meant for people who have colorista or uh, magic bird looks. This is going to be 100% after effects. So we'll go to the color correction tab here and next awesome people, we will basically try to see what our footage doesn't have. So in this example, as you can see, the water behind is clearly just a uh, very dull. It's not giving us a proper blue feel. So we definitely need to improve that. So what I'll do is I'll go to uh, tint. And this is a great way of just color grading your footages very very quickly. As soon as you put tint on, it's going to make everything black and white because that's what it does. We'll take this uh, map white too. Uh, we'll click on that. And next awesome people, I'm going to go for a very nice light blue like this. And next awesome people, I'll increase the amount to tint or actually decrease it to about 20-30%. Right? So I'm going to go for 30 over here. And again, this depends on what kind of feel you want to give. So if you want to give a nice, uh, you know, uh, bright, awesome look, then yellow, orange, that kind of, you know, a warm feel would get a better job done. Uh, if you want to give a gloomy, sad, slow day sort of feel, a blue look would be better. So, uh, you know, from for this footage, in, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's a very sad, uh, you know, a sad music video uh slow music video that kind of look uh this this footage has and this is getting that job done so that's good um so okay so we have this nice tint on this we have definitely uh you know given it a proper feel but it's not giving that intense effect so in order to, to create that we need to add some contrast to this the best way to add contrast in my opinion is using curves so we'll apply it to the adjustment layer and we'll basically go to rgb that's by default and we'll make a nice S curve like so. And this is gonna create a nice tint effect or actually a crushed, uh, you know, contrasty effect like this. So a simple S curve should be good. And now awesome people, you can adjust how much tint you want from a mount tint option, right? You can also actually change the color quite easily. So we can go for a nice intensive color like so oh, this is giving me a pirates of caribbean sort of feel um but this is good now since this is an adjustment layer or some people you can also go to uh you know the different blend modes that after effects has so photo mode and if you cannot see this do a right click columns and select uh modes over here so we can go to soft light we can go to overlay and this is just to create a very stylized sort of effect so if you're working on a music video and again this is meant for beginners so if you're doing a music video where you just have one camera you know not so good location or if you're shooting from a cell phone then these tricks you know will definitely help you out so that is one way of getting color grading done in after effects next awesome people is a technique which is going to use um which is basically going to use the tritone effect so i'm going to create a new adjustment layer again right and uh, i'll rename it to cc and this time awesome people, we'll go for, instead of using the tint effect first, we'll go for tritone. Uh, tritone is awesome people, is, is an amazing effect where we get more control than tint, right? So if tint, if the technique one is not working for your clip, 
then uh, you know you may try tritone which is going to give you three different color options so again we are trying to create that nice blue look so i'll go for mid-tones first and i'll change that to a nice blue color like so right again if, if, if you're doing a dance video then uh, red orange uh, yellow those kind of colors would look better but again this depends on footage to footage different clips every clip is different also in Beeble, and therefore the color correction on them is going to be different so i cannot tell you what to do for your clip it you know it comes down to what you feel is best for your clip so i'm going to go for uh, blue like that and let me just go for white and change it to and now as people, I'll create a nice, uh, you know, light blue out of effect, right? Now I can start blending this with the original footage. So we can go about, you know, like how we had the tint option. Um, you know, we had the amount to tint. We have the similar option of blend with the original. So we can, uh, you know, increase or decrease that. I'm going to go somewhere about that, right? Uh, I'm going to take 70%, right? And next awesome people, we will apply curves on this. So we can fix it like so and you can also most awesome people instead of just using RGB we can go to red and uh, you know check things over there maybe you know something an experiment can always be good so we can get a, a more intense blue effect like this and you can go to blue increase it over there or decrease it or maybe if, if you're getting a lot of green then go to the green channel and bring that down so as you can see it's a very stylized effect looks good and was it and we were able to do this in a very short amount of time so this is before as you can see the color is not there it's not you know like we, we can see good details in the hand but the sky is all out there is no feel and uh, there's there, there's just a lot of dull colors in the scene but when we do color grading then this is how it looks so definitely good and in order to complete the cinematic effect we can create a new uh, solid you can call this boxing right hit the s key break the link and i'll change this to 80. i'll change the blend mode to stencil alpha like this and as you can see awesome people this definitely looks good um before ending this video awesome people i would like to cover just one more uh, effect so i'll delete this boxing layer we'll go to cc and we'll delete both of these colors like this now what if these techniques is also not working for you uh there's one more color that you, uh, color correction effect that you can use uh that is called color balance uh, some people would would use color balance hls which is hue lightness saturation but color balance in my opinion is much more you know big enough friendly they both are basically the same thing but this is gonna uh, you know it has better settings and uh, you know again you user friendly so we'll go over, over, over to the frame where we can see the full footage and something that's gonna help us determine if the color correction is working or no so we'll go to the red balance and this is basically giving us even more control than what tritone was doing so we get to decide how much red is there in the shadow how much red is there in the mid tones and how much red is there in the highlights same with all the deep uh, all the three different uh, channels like the rgb shadow rgb mid tone and rgb highlight so as you can see we want to create that uh, blue effect right so we'll go to shadow blue and we will increase that i'm using my uh, uh, my keyboard so i'm pressing the shift key and the arrow key for going up uh, in 10 increments or you can do the down arrow key for going down in minus i'm gonna go for uh, you know plus like this i'm gonna increase the green just to see what happens and this is what i really like about color grading where you can bring out the artist in us and see if things work or they don't work so i'm, I'm definitely liking this feel uh, and let's bring up the red as well so you know the the red is gonna bring up some skin tones so that is good you go to red over here uh, bring it down this time because we don't want to have a lot of red right we want to have a lot of blue in this um, i'm gonna go for five in the mid-tone green and let's just go for 20 or 15 in mid-tone blue we'll go for red again and i'll bring this up because i want to push the color in the hand right we don't want to make the hand blue as well so i go for seven in that green i will take this up just a bit and blue i will definitely take this up or maybe not <laughs> all right so this is also looking good in order to complete this effect i'll go for curves and add a nice contrast boost 
right? And just in case awesome people, if curves is getting too complicated for you, you're not finding that right balance where to get this, uh, one more way of creating a proper contrasty feel is to duplicate your footage layer by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard, putting this on top and changing the blend mode of this to soft light or overlay, whichever works best. And as you can see right now, it's an overkill effect. It's definitely blowing out the sky, not looking very nice, it's sort of a harsh effect. So what you can do is you can press that T key on your keyboard for getting to opacity and bring it down like so. So you can, you can keep this 25 and this is going to give us a nice, you know, soft contrasty effect as you can see over here. Maybe we can take this up to about 40, 45, 50 and you can see a better uh, contrasty effect. I'm going to dial this down to 25 and that is something that looks good. It's not giving us a proper feel, but maybe this technique will work in your footages. Uh, before ending this video, awesome people, one last thing that I'd like to say is that uh, when you are walking over here, and uh, luckily in this footage, I didn't have to bring up uh, any brightness. What happens is when you're doing DIY filmmaking, or if you're doing, you know, if, if you're shooting something that's shot on your cell phone, uh, one big problem would be have not having good lights. So in order to fix, uh, you know, some dark spots or just uh, bringing out good color in your footage, what you can do is you can also use shadow highlight effect applied to your footage. And uh, it's basically gonna, let me just delete that. It's basically gonna, you know, be set to auto at first. So we will delete that or actually we disable that. And next awesome people, we can uh, mess around with this in order to brighten up the effect. So we can take this up to 30, 40. Now you have to remember that since we are brightening up the footage in post, the noise is gonna be there, right? So, uh, you know, we don't want to take this up to, I don't know, 7,500, you know, we definitely don't wanna go there because that's gonna bring up a lot of noise in the footage, as you can see over here. But uh, this is good for just, you know, increasing the brightness just a bit um, and improving the footage like that. So this was my tutorial on how to create uh, or how to do some color grading and after effects for beginners. Again, this tutorial was not meant for high-end video professionals. If you're going over there, then DaVinci Resolve or uh, at least Colorista is the way to go. If you don't want to have, uh, you know, uh, complete blacks in your footage or if you don't want to blow out sky that sort of thing awesome people I would definitely recommend going for magic bullet it gets the work done quicker and uh, it's a lot better than uh, you know messing around with color options and after effects but if you're doing something DIY when you're shooting on your cell phone or you just have one simple uh, beginner level DSLR and you don't and you want to get some filmmaking done then uh, these techniques will definitely help you so thank you for watching my video my name is EJ Style and I will see you all next time take care everyone